Hi, I'm Carlos from Faster Course, and this is an introduction video to Captivate. Start by opening Adobe Captivate. We will be using Captivate 2019, but the principles shown work very similarly in any other Captivate version. First, select the middle button to build a new project. I'm going to select blank project. Below you can change the size of the project. You can either select one of the provided project resolutions, or you can add your own. I'm going to use a custom resolution, so I select Custom from the drop-down and change the width to 1000 pixels and height to 562 pixels. But you can choose any resolution you like. Then select Create to start working. On the left-hand side you can see the film strip. Here you will see all the slides. On the upper right corner you can open the library to see all the resources used in this project. For example, audio, video, images, and actions. Under Properties, you can see styles and actions for elements used in this course. Once you select an object from your slide, the Properties tab will change, showing you the necessary information that you can later change. On the bottom of the screen, you can find the timeline. Click on the name to open it. Here you can see all the elements that are in this slide. Let's add some objects to see how timeline works. We will place a circle and a rectangle on the slide to show you how they interact with each other on the timeline. Here you can see both smart shapes and you can drag them up or down to change which object will be in front of the screen and which will be at the back. Inside the timeline you can hide and show elements so they wouldn't be visible while you are editing the slide. Keep in mind that elements that are hidden in the timeline will be visible after you publish. To hide objects in the published version, click on the object and select the small eye icon in the upper right corner. Now the object won't be visible after you publish the course. If you want to take a closer look at some objects, you can change the zoom in percentage. Click on the upper navigation tab to change the zoom settings from 100 to 200. You can do the same by using Ctrl and Plus or Command and Plus for Mac users. And if you want to zoom out, use Ctrl and Minus and Command and Minus for Mac users. After you have implemented some changes, always remember to save your project, as in any other application. To do so, click on the Save icon in the upper navigation bar and choose the Destination folder. Then change the title for your project and click Save. Voila! That was the first intro video to Captivate. We hope you enjoyed it. There are many more to come, so stick around.